baby. How you doing? Hi, Grandma. How's Big Mama Shook? We good. We good. But um, you know, I was I was talking to someone, and they were telling me that you and Suelo aren't doing so good. I told him we're getting a divorce. You divorcing him? Yes, that's what I said. You know he loves you. He's crazy about you, Fanny. I know he does, Grandma, and I, I still love him. So Willow knows that I love him. Okay, well, why, why don't we, why don't you meet me for lunch tomorrow, and we can talk about it then. I think I saved up enough money for us to go out to a nice place. Okay. All right, bye. A waiter will be right with you. Hey, Fanny. Hey, where Grandma at? Your grandma's sick. She told me to come here instead. Oh, all right. This place is nice, though. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> now, your grandmother told me everything. And I just want to let you know that you are not alone. And that if there is a group of people that is there to support you. Now, I set you up with the, the best psychiatrist in town. What, what do you think I am, a charity case? Excuse me, I overheard you talking and about, like, issues. I had some issues in my past, and um, I've been going to this counseling group. It's really great, and it's run by two really great therapists, and I, I think m maybe you should come too, just someday. You should do that, Fanny. You go there tonight. What time is it, mister? Uh, 7 p.m. She'll be there. Fine, Grandma, if it'll make you happy. Mm -hmm. Hello, I'm Constance. And I'm Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> and we are counsellors here um, at a little counselling office. And today we have three people that are coming in. Uh, yes, three. There's Holden, and mm -hmm. there is Fanny. Yep, Fanny. And there is Mr. Broadberry. Broadberry. <laughs> So today we're just going to give them a little advice about their problems in their life. Because their life sucks. And ours doesn't. Yep. Because we can join. Yep. <laughs> Alright, well, um, my mother's name is Olivia. She was born here in America, but she was raised in Africa by my Aunt Nettie. Um, my grandma Celia couldn't really take care of her at the time. She was young when she had her. Um, I'm currently going through a divorce right now with my husband, Suelo, and um, I love him very much, and I see myself loving him for the rest of my life. Then why are you divorcing him? It's just that I need a change, and I want to be independent, and I want to be my own for once. I just want to be free. Hmm, it's very interesting that you say that. Does anyone else have anything to say? I'd like to speak if I may. I feel distraught. This society we live in, it's afraid to deal with change. They're all afraid to deal with it. People are afraid of the past and the future. All they want is the present. Uh, I used to be a fireman. You, you know those people who are supposed to help? help us keep the present. Well, I realized it all seemed wrong. It, it just... What we did was, what we did as firemen was completely and utterly wrong. I made it a part of my duty to try to help society regain its appreci appreciation for being different. Something that I don't know I can do, but I hope nonetheless. Hello, my name is Holden, and I kind of feel the same way as Mr. Ray. You know, I go to the school called Princely Pep, and I just have been feeling so lost because I haven't seen my family in a while. And although my grandma sends me money to show me that she cares for me, I, I still don't feel loved. And maybe that's because I'm failing all my classes, but that doesn't make me a bad person, right? Well, I haven't told anyone this here, but early this year, I was a victim of a physical assault, and it was in a hotel room. And I wondered if anyone heard, 
And if they did, why didn't they call someone? That night I cried for the first time in a long time. It's weird because just a moment before the incident, I had said that there was no God. And maybe that was his raft. But later that week, a man made a pass at me and I rejected because, I rejected him because, you know, I'm not a homosexual. But what's amazing is that I got to see my sister and I have never been happier. Maybe God, if there is one, granted me that joy for doing his will. I just don't know. Thank you. Let's give those three a round of applause. Oh, bravo, jolly good show. Yay! Bravo. We've noticed that all three of you share a common ground. I see that all of your stories share the same theme, that you're all dealing with some sort of internal struggle. You're all dealing with a situation that has made you feel separated in some way. Whether it's the isolation that Holden felt in his lifetime, or how, how you, Fanny, needed freedom and independence, and how Mr. Bradbury here wants to escape society so he lives in which has fear of literature and knowledge. You all want to be free from something that is holding you down, and that, is, that all makes you very similar. Now, please enjoy some refreshments. <laughs>